This is a non seller production! Welcome back to my channel, Autumn's Life. So today we're going to be jumping into this hairstyle from Downton Abbey, inspired by Lady Edith, who's played by Laura Carmichael. And it's just a really cute 1920s inspired hairstyle. So let's get into the hair tutorial. What you need for this hairstyle is some heat protectant, a deep V waver. Um, mine's just by, it's a, from Revlon, it's just kind of a regular one. And a clip or something to clip your hair up, some bobby pins of course, and hairspray, how could we live without hairspray, a paddle brush of some sort, and of course a comb for sectioning the hair. Okay guys, so jumping into the hair tutorial, I'm just going to start out by spraying my hair with some heat protectant to protect it from heat. And then I'm going to do a side part, a really deep side part, because that's very 1920s-esque. And then I'm going to part my hair just right above my ears and clip that away. And then I'm going to brush out my hair, just make sure there's no tangles. And then I'm going to use my deep V waver and just start crimping my hair. I'm going to hold it on the hair for about 5 to 10 seconds. It just really depends on how hot your waver or crimper gets, so just depending. And I'm just going to, as I move down, the last little barrel thing is going to rest in the, the previous little crimped section, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. If you need more clarification, feel free to comment down below and ask questions. I'm always here to help. And the last section, just the same thing basically, just really repetitive, going to get really boring, just all the way down the hair. And now we're going to speed things up because I don't want to bore you guys. Um, so while we're speeding things up, let's just talk a little bit about Downton Abbey. I don't know who's seen the show out there, but if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out because it's an amazing show. The writing on that show is just phenomenal. I am so impressed by what they pump out with all the new episodes. Um, just really excellent writing. And so just let that section down, part your hair, temples, clip away, same thing, and begin crimping again. So, yeah, this is inspired by Lady Edith, who's played by Laura Carmichael. And she goes for really, like, deep finger-waved hairstyle towards, like, the end of the season four episodes when we're getting into the 1920s. So that's what I'm trying to emulate here with the crimping is by doing the very 1920s-esque finger waves. Which you will see it all come together. And I just let down the section again and brush everything out. I start with the back section, crimping that back se section because I really want that to be like a defined back section. And then what I'm going to do for the sides is for like the side with the less hair on it, I'm just going to split that into two sections. So I'm just going to clip out that one section away with like an alligator clip or something. And same thing, just crimp that section and let that section down and crimp that one too. And now with the other side, I'm going to do about four sections on this side, so I'm going to clip the rest of the hair away. This is my first section. And crimp. Boring. Let that one down. Crimp again. And when you've done that, you're finished with crimping. <laughs> Yay! And then you're just going to take your hair from ears up and just kind of clip it away. And we're going to put this lower section into a bun. It's going to be kind of our base for our faux bob because that's what we're doing here. And I'm just going to pin that bun to my head so we have the base for the bob. So just use however many bobby pins you think you're going to need. I use, I don't know, four or five. If you have really good bobby pins like from Sally's, it's not going to take that many. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this front section and I'm just going to kind of like pin curl it to a certain point where I want the bob to to stop or where I want the bob to lay or how, I, how short I want to, my hair to be. And when I'm satisfied with how short it is, I'm just going to pin that to my scalp and just do the same thing with the other sections. I'm going to do about three sections on each side. So this is another section, same thing, just start pin curling it. And then when it's about the same height as the other one, you're just going to pin it to your scalp or to the base of the bob, to that little bun that we made. 
And if you have layers or something that are really short and they fall out and they fall at a good length um, just naturally, then that's fine. You can just leave those layers out. You're good to go. I don't know, for me, I feel like my layers fall at an awkward place, like they're not quite there. They're almost there, but they're not quite there. So I kind of have to like pin them, but then they're not long enough to pin. I don't know, the struggle. And same thing on this side. And of course, once you're done, you're just going to spray it with some good old-fashioned hairspray to get those layers in place. And once you finish with that, you're done, and I hope you guys like the look. And again, if you haven't seen Downton Abbey, go ahead and watch it, because it's an amazing show. I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!